resuming in part three. And some of you can notice I uh, have a bad tendency of um, throwing my utensils. It's not that I actually throw them, it's I grip them. And well, I don't have too good a grip on them. And that's my bad quick sketches. Uh, so you transformed into a beast. Let's see if I guess it. And as you can see, this could even be used as um, these pages right here. It could even be used as a layout page, as a set of layout pages for a uh, scene if you were to want, if you were to plan one out. And when you do narration, there's also something else you can do. 
uh, when you start the narration, if you were to, let's say you were actually make, focused on making a manga, you would, if you have a manga production, um, a manga editing program, you could actually add gray screen, you could actually add a gray screen tone when you do the narration. And it adds a bit of a more dramatic effect. If you were to add um, screen tone over the characters. And if you wonder how uh, narration would actually look if you were to do the gray screen tone. I'll show you a page of something else that I've drawn. As you can see. That's not actually gray screen tone. I just uh, did a crosshatch in pencil. But as you can see how the narration actually looks. From the page you can actually tell it's first person narration. But as soon as the second uh, panel pops up. It's more of an instant. This is now kind of time. So it's more or less... This is actually where it will begin when he's thinking about what he's doing, and then it fully focuses on him and his own, uh, what he's perceiving. Another way, uh, when I was explaining the insert panel, would be depending on where your reader will be reading from. Let's say you were making a left to right um, comic. To actually, uh, one way to actually put the insert panel would be over near. Will we actually be able to? We'll, the right way to do it would be to put it where you would notice the panel first but not be in the way of the focus area. So you would actually put it higher, but uh, where they would actually read it at. Because when you, let's say you were flipping page pages, you always read from top to bottom. So you would put it a little bit higher. Uh, I made a slight error here, but um, I couldn't actually, I didn't want to interfere with the emphasis on what the mountain looked like. So I went ahead and uh, lowered it a little bit. But I actually went and showed that the character was actually in awe, even though you can't see him. It's just uh, little tidbits that you can add to give your reader a sense of um, sense of actually being engaged within the comic themselves, or to actually forgot what the word uh, to empathize, yeah. Um, empathize what the character is feeling and and that's uh pretty much wraps up today's lesson um went a little went a bit longer than I thought it was going to be but uh hit the details um I'm gonna start working on the um other video about realization um that's just more or less of a character actually Realize, realizing something in a situation like using a realization effect uh, and it's more like a uh, more focused on the character rather than the situation itself um, more or less a focus on first person rather than third person and that'll do it that'll wrap up today's lesson and today's final part of the video uh you know, as Wise Dragon says, uh, keep focused, stay drawing, don't give up. See you guys later. Peace.